Well, that was a quick beginning and ending to whatever everybody felt about the Jets season. Uh, what's good, everybody? Uh, wow. Uh, I'm doing a lot of us here because that just seems like a whole bunch of uh that happened. Aaron Rodgers pretty much came out on the field and in two plays, it's a wrap. Uh, jeez. The you know the crazy thing about how it happened is that like two plays beforehand, I think. There, uh, Michael Benton, uh, Makai Benton, tried to, you know, go low on the offensive, I mean, on the defensive player, and pretty much that resulted in a sack for, you know, on Aaron Rodgers. So then later on, Fant does the same thing and I don't understand why, in both scenarios, they went low on their on their player. Or at least, after the first one happened, the second one happened. Now, the reason I don't understand it is because I was like, Benton's a pretty athletic player. And the play that it seemed did not seem like it was for that. So then, for your left tackle to do it. It's just very weird that that is like why why is that the technique that you don't see that too often with the offensive line anyway. So it's sort of weird that that happened, and in that same play, it, it's one of the things that you've seen like Rogers got up, and then there was like a like a, like a dead ball or whatever, and then he just went down, and you sort of see that's like. Oh, not what really happened, and then that's when everybody started playing speculation. That's like. Achilles, 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 and you know I, I like how uh, you know they talk about everybody playing the internet, uh, uh, internet doctor, and all this other stuff. But at the same time, when stuff started getting highlighted, you know, like for instance, you know when they started talking about concussions. Now that we've not seen concussions and how it happened and what it looks like and stuff like that. Guess what? Now it's in the public eye to where we're just like, oh, that seems like there it is. Same thing. We're doing this all in type of ways with like mental health and all this other stuff and everybody being like a public, you know, a, a public therapist and stuff. And this is really not the same difference, especially like when they say like, oh, somebody sort of goes down and it's really nothing that we see like out of the ordinary. It's most time it's like an Achilles. You know, it's always that. It's just like, oh, that, that just happened. Or, you know, sometimes, you know, or a tear, like ACL tear or something like that. But it really was weird. It's just weird to me that the tackles did that. That, that's, that, but with it being done that quickly, Zach Wilson is now uh, ahead, uh, charge of the team. And the dude got a victory. Uh, I mean, you know, it's not his victory. And I'm not just saying that just because Aaron Rodgers didn't get the win because he started. I'm saying that this was really a team victory where it was defense, special teams, the running backs, Wilson uh, Wilson with a great catch, and Josh Allen. They was all on the same team. Because Josh Allen, uh, if there was ever anything that seemed like uh, trying to give the game away, that was just like, are you trying? Are you betting? It was this, because Josh Allen was throwing some balls. I was like, what are you doing, buddy? The, like, Whitehead got th all three of them. The only one that is, like, Whitehead did an actual, like, like a play was the one where he ended up intercepting on Davis uh, when David was trying to go towards the sideline. That's the only one where it was, like, that, like, while Allen could have threw it, like, got more air on it, or he could have, uh, uh, like, led a receiver more. Or he just didn't see Whitehead. Whatever. That one, I can be like, that was a good play by Whitehead. Whitehead made that play. He jumped on that route. The other ones were, what are you doing, dude? Obviously, like, if you had, if he had somebody like Tyreek Hill, I, where he was just out running, I can understand it. Or, you know, Megatron in his prime. Something like that. And I'm not saying, and it's not just like a dig on digs, 
but Diggs is a smaller receiver. He didn't have a step. They had him covered. There was, what are you doing there? And the first one, cool. You want to call that a punt, whatever, that's fine. That second one was inexcusable. It's a sa- it was the same it was the same exact play. And he fell for the same exact thing. And I don't understand how. How? And the fumble the fumble one was just really more so of him being, you know, a really big quarterback, six foot dude, like 220, 230, whatever, and just like I could just bowl through everybody. That's really what that was when he picked up the ball. Because any other quarterback would have just fell on it. Any other quarterback would have just fell on it and been like, little if I another day. He was like, nope, I'm going to make something out of this. And he did. And it was for the other team. And it, it was, they just couldn't get nothing going on Buffalo. There was, for the fact that the like the like like everything was deflated on the Jets, like the quarterback's gone. So everybody's like, our season's done. Zach Wilson having to come back in, so that's already putting a bad taste in your mouth. Uh, you know, uh, how Zach Wilson threw an interception. You you had you have the game. You you like you know it was and it's like it's not like they wasn't out here like putting passes together and stringing drives. They just couldn't. They couldn't like get it through. They just couldn't. They couldn't complete anything, and credit to the you know the defense of uh, of the Jets, not only taking an interception but they also made sure that they did not score. They did not they bend but they didn't break. And shout out to the offense of Hall and Cook, especially Hall coming back from his own set of injuries and able to rattle off. You know if he was like I think if he was like fully healthy, if he was fully like. You know that that knee and all that stuff was great. He would probably score on that uh, that uh, that run, that eighty-five yard run or whatever. But him and Cook were pretty much carrying the load while you were just really just letting Wilson to pick in spots of when he needed to to pass the ball. And he and he did a fairly good job of, get, of picking in the hole and picking out when it was in zone and stuff like that. And Wilson really is the one that you need to credit for that throw. Because I was like, Wilson, I mean, yeah, Wilson didn't put it in a good spot. But, um, uh, yeah, Zach didn't put it in a good spot. But Garrett was able to just shield him off and just manhandle with one hand it back to himself, pretty much. And and then on the last play of the game, it you, I, I was like, you sort of seen it throughout the game that the – they would have been sort of setting up. Uh, they, I was like, both teams were sort of doing the same thing because this was sort of what you do. But on the Jets side, you could sort of tell, like, uh, like the last couple, they were trying to set up where they were trying to, you know, like set up on one side and go for, go to the other one. And they were just able to complete it. Also, the the uh, ref that, you know, that they call in on the thing, trying to be like, he was a, it was a whip play. And I'm like, no, wasn't a whip play. Cause I'm like that one looked like that one looked natural that his leg was moving and it went up. Uh, I mean, I was like, I guess you still won't call that a trip and play, but that wasn't something where like he actually tried to stop the dude from doing anything. Even if he could, he wasn't he wasn't going to be able to do it anyway. He had to jump over. But yeah, for you, I was like that is sort of how you when you throw and give up for turnover. That's how you should lose the game. Some epic like that where the offense don't that's been sluggish. That's been trying to that's that been staggering, mustering, uh, mustering up stuff. You know, you ain't even got to because your special team got you. Uh, so kudos to the Jets for pulling that one out despite everything and how it started. And the Bills, whoo! I was like, Diggs was sort of disappointed. A foe. Yeah, good luck with that. But yeah, no, nah, that sucks because looks like Roger might got an Achilles tear and. You know, it's like done for the year and then come back next year at 40. And with the Jets went down, I'm like, and then they got, now they got to find, I mean, I you know, they were talking about some backup quarterback, but they're going to have to pretty much get a backup quarterback because you don't want what happened last year where they just, they don't have Mike White no more. They don't have Tim Tebow 2.0 or whoever he was last year. So, 
they're going to have to find a good backup quarterback, not just somebody that's just around. But, hey, that's sometimes how it goes. Anyway, that's a little recap of the Monday Night Football game for the night. Uh, you like this? Hey, I appreciate it. But if not, hey, maybe next time. But until then, I'm out.